Chipino seafood stew for four people for like a regular weeknight meal. I buy a pound and a half of mussels and ask your uh, fishmonger or the man working the fish counter if they can clean and de-beard them. Otherwise, I give them a good scrub at home with a nail brush and let them soak in fresh water. Change the water, let them soak again, drain them off. Keep them icy, cold, and always buy your seafood as close to the day you're going to use it as is possible. I have medium to large size, whatever has a great price on it, shrimp, deveined and peeled uh, and tails off. And I have about a pound of crab. Then any sort of white sustainable fish, sturdy, this is halibut, and I portion six ounces per adult. I took, to me, the main ingredient, I just want the garlic bread for all the juice, um, sourdough bread, cut it into giant chunks. These are called croutons only because we're gonna toast them. They're giant hunks of bread they are gonna sop up all that delicious flavor. And I melt a stick of butter and some olive oil together with a big piece of lemon peel and tons of crushed garlic. And then I pour that infused lemon, oh and I throw in some fresh thyme too. I throw the garlic and the thyme and the lemon all in there. And then I pour all that great flavor down over the giant crouton. Toss it together. And then put it on a big old baking sheet and throw it in the oven. So it just tastes like garlic bread. I am so happy with that. Goldie, come put this in the oven for me, thank you. In a big pot with a tight fitting lid, I have our firmer vegetables cooking out. Onion, fennel, sweet licorice fennel goes beautifully with onion, and celery. Once that starts to sweat and give off its juices, then I add some leek, a couple of fat bay leaves. I season it up with fennel seed or fennel pollen or both. Crushed red pepper flake for a little spice. And a little oregano or marjoram. Always lightly crushing our dried herbs in our palm to kind of wake them up. And then lots and lots of thinly sliced garlic, which I use this funny little tool, which is actually a truffle shaver, to get that garlic nice and nice and thin. Let that cook together. Then we're going to deglaze with a bit of white vermouth, which is fortified wine. Then we're going to add in about a half a bottle of white wine. You can use seafood stock, chicken stock, bone stock, stock in a box. This is a beautiful bone brodo. I'm gonna add passata, which is puree of tomato. This is just fresh tomato puree. And some San Marzano tomato. Crushed, diced, whole, crushed with your hands, doesn't matter. So I use an immersion blender to puree mine, which is what we have here. So to the one that's bubbling away here, I'm going to add in all of our seafood, our mussels, crab, shrimp, and then I nest the fish on top. And when the fish turns opaque and white and firm, you're good to go. Pop the lid on. You put a hunk or a couple of hunks of the giant sourdough garlic bread crouton and you can see through the top here that our white fish, halibut, has turned opaque. It's nice and white. And you can see that the mussels have opened. So now we're ready to finish the dish and serve. We have our lemon. Squeeze it cut side up so that the uh, seeds stay with the lemon, don't fall into your chipino. And just start working the bowl and arranging your seafood and your broth over the bread. Crazy. I love this dish. We try and take a spatula and get the fish to stay together real pretty up on top. And then I top that with the fennel fronds, the leafy tops from the fennel, and a little flat leaf parsley. 